Hello everybody, my name is Benjico Haas and welcome to Getting Over with Ben and Fadi and hello to my mug. Uh, sorry for the lighting, I decided to do try to set up a camera one a little bit too late so I'm ca actually kind of losing light outside um, and I don't have a lighting system set up so apologies for that. I'm getting better, as I said before, I'm very new at this. So, And also, Merry Christmas. Uh, it's a uh, Christmas weekend, 2017, and yeah, I just I uh, wanted to make a very special uh, video for the season, and I wanted to try to do a Christmas theme one. But the one game I wanted to play, I not only kept doing like really horribly; it was a multiplayer game, uh, but a lot of the times I couldn't even connect to an online game. And I didn't want to start my own uh, uh, server, uh, my own room. Um, so I tried looking for other games two last minutes, and I nothing really seemed appealing that I would want to do a video on. So I wanted to play this for a while, and I've seen some people play this, and I know it's very rage game, like to the extreme. But I think uh, Mr. Benefati uh, in here has a really excellent message that I really wanted to play and try to, um, uh, well, just put out his uh, message that he tries to play, which is basically, in life, there's a lot of failures, there's a lot of difficulties, and a lot of setbacks, but you just do what you can. Mr. Mon, such a weird thing, a little cauldron. Oh, jeez, I can see why they're getting so angry. Though this is weird. Okay, let me turn that up just a little bit. Apply, resume. Better. All right, let's see. Did that the wrong way. Let's see. How do I do this? Okay, set that down and push up. Okay. Not so shabby. Let's see, what happens if I pull the mouse down? Okay, so there is a definite center that I have to be careful of. Okay. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Yes. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back yeah. after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through Oops. might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always, even your mistakes. These are... I don't know if it's just me not really understanding or if the controls are kind of wonky, but... Whoop. Whoop. But I'm. It's gonna take me a while to get used to controls. It's like, when you see other people play, it's like, oh, it's just so simple. But no, the controls are weird. No, no, why? Okay, come on. Okay, and see how do I set down like, up? Okay, can I reach? And 
I go this, this game is way. a homage to a free okay. game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy ooh, Hiking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The author of that game was Jazz, uh, a him. mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. And I actually want to play that. Designers slap them together very quickly and well. freely. And they're often too Whoop. rough and unfriendly uh, to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than oh, as polished oh, oh, products. Oh, oh. Alright. I like how he just intervenes with the random jazz music. It's actually a little bit pleasant. And come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Sit down. I do kind of feel like I am cheating a little bit because I've already seen some videos on how to do this part. Even though doing it yourself is a lot more difficult. But that is with life. Because you can watch how everyone else does it. And it may look easy. But when you actually do it yourself, it's so much more involved than you would expect. Like me with this video, I... I mean, with these uh, this, uh, videos on my channel, I... I knew it wasn't easy. There's a lot to do, there's a lot to change and edit and all that stuff. But... I just didn't really realize just how much was involved. And actually, I'm being done. I'm gonna switch closer. So you have a lot more of an appreciation for the people who have gone through it and suffered so that you can have a better chance of succeeding. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself oh, up hey, that I'm sliding. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties uh, that give the game its place. Okay, let's see. No amount of forward nope, progress is guaranteed. Either way. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. All it takes is one mistake to screw it. And I almost messed myself up there because I... Making a big... Oops. My bad. Aw. Oh. Right now I'm just not angry. I'm... Oh wow, look at that landing. I'm just more No, don't slide off. I'm still getting used to the controls. It's weird. I know that there's another control scheme. No up 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 Then I might try. No 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 no. Okay, okay, come on. Sit down. Position. And attack. Oh. And. Safe landing. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's something I wanted to. I'll wait until. I. Th I think I just kind of answered my question there, but I think I can give myself momentum just by jerking the sledgehammer some. And I think one of the reasons why so many people got so irritated and annoyed with this game is because they think that it should just work how it should. And that they deserve. Ah. If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Oops. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. I did. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. Not really. Small chance to learn. Uh, ah. Well, now I can test my theory. Uh. Let's see. Let's 
Oh, because that's not very effective. I just wanted to see if I can wiggle. I go up that way? Okay, that's not working, so I'll just continue on. Okay, I could even clear that anyway. Aw. Oh. What can I? Actually, no. Let me. Let me back down. Uh... Oops. Oh, oh. I have no idea how that happened. Now one of the more difficult things about going back and failing is the perception of failing. Like you think uh, because you haven't succeeded, you have failed. Which that is not the case at all. You only fail if you not only give up, but didn't even try to learn anything from it. From every failure, there's a lesson. Something that you can change for anyway, the next you time. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. And as we're doing positive message, messages, stay hydrated. It's very important. And let's see, what was my thought? Oh yeah, if you like, while Mr. What was a Bodhi body was talking, I fell back a little bit, but I learned something. On one of these rocks, this one I believe, I might be able to launch myself up. If I actually let go just a little bit. Yes, and that's how you get past that part. Oh. Come on. Okay. And up. Oops, that didn't work out. Up, up. Okay, calm down there, sonny. Yeah. Now down, we adjust, and go for lunch. Uh, I, I could have done that a whole lot better. That's just something, every, there is, really is a lesson to a lot of failures, and I'm getting some slowdown. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, well I have no idea what that was about. And I went into the settings and tried turning off the mouse, because I think that might just be a distraction. So, if I pretend that the hammer is the mouse, it could go a lot better. Down. Because you have you can have a sensory overload. Not a sensory overload, uh, information overload. I just having too many things at one time. Uh 
And I think I might actually put that back on. No. Because it does help guide what is expected. And... Ah. Yeah, I'm going to put it back on. Mouse cursor. I don't know why that helps, but it does. Oh! The opposite New thing isn't I sexy hiking or unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. As I was just about to say before he started a speech, if I did not quote unquote fail that one time going down there, I would not have been able to discover that I had the ability to, to launch myself from farther down the box. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. For every situation, there is an opportunity. And even though it may not seem like it, it is there. Whether you know it or not, and whether you actually do something about it or not. <sighs> I've seen several times on how to get through this part, and I've never quite understood how... Because you look at the sledgehammer, it is the width of the shaft. So there's not a lot of space for errors. Any you just will not get on a slate. Okay, let's try... Come on, push up. And... Yeah, this is my own lack of understanding of the of the controls. It's, and it's very doable. I saw someone begin a speed run. I think this whole thing like fifteen or twenty minutes, when it's supposed to take hours. I think it was supposed to as a five hour game, minimum. And as I'm sure you can imagine, that there's a lot of uh, setbacks. Ah, okay, I ha had something. Right there. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, All right. I got something. Well, I'm on the rock. Will I stay? Yes. Alright, so if I can propel myself up past the first light and then jam my hammer into the rock like I almost just did. 
I'm close to where I want to be, so no, I missed it. Okay, let me try. What is this? Track back to What is that? What does that do? Oh, boo. This is much more responsive. Holy crap. You've done this part before. Mm. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. I actually haven't done this part before. Or oh, this specific spa? Yes, but... Come on, get up there. I'm not sure if I like that. That's, uh, what was it? Let's just try... Oh. <clears throat> How? How did that even happen? I went in completely the wrong direction from what I pushed off. At least from what I saw, when I edit I'll be able to see what exactly did happen, but that was weird. Get across. No, whoa, 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 whoa. So I was just saying, you don't want to get over that rock because that'll take you back to the beginning. And there's a lot of people who have failed by accidentally trying to get over a little bit and it overcompensates and you just go flying and you end up throwing a chair against the wall oh this is he's on that rock in the smallest possible space and that's actually pretty cool I like the random little balancing act. I wish I could just go around the bottom to those stairs and knock on the door like, Hello, can I use your stairs, please? I got five bucks. And up. Oh. Okay, so. Let us... Nah, stay on the light. Okay, let's try... Okay. Now, ah. Now, if the mechanics were not so delicate on this, I could easily go uh, Emperor's Last Groove on this. And if you've watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Cusco on Pancho going up the crevice just like this, back to back, and climb the way up. Although the lights would get in the way, so. Alright. I knew I should have gone the other way. Whee! I'm sliding! Why is he sliding? Why does he stop? Oh, it stops right there. Come on. Uh, 
I. No. Being cautious isn't helping much. I think I kind of got the fair gist of the controls. Although not completely. Come on. Uh, lunch. Come on. There we go. Why can I not stick on this thing? Come on. For some reason that just does not want to cooperate. So fine, forget about the rock. And... That works. <laughs> There we go. Uh, and like just about every other place of this game that I've seen so far, I can think of a way of getting around spots, but this one always just kind of eluded me. Partially because of the slate, I didn't realize just how slick it was. And also those lights, and the width of it. That was my fault, I wasn't careful enough. Come on, come on, come on. And... Once again... I'm gonna try to give this a couple more efforts. Alright. This is pretty much my best placement. Wish me luck. Maximum efforts! Alright. One more time. His controls truly are finicky. I just need practice with them. Thank you. Come on, uh... What was the name again? Foggy? Boggy? Bennett. So... I forget his name, but Mr. Bennett. He needs to come up with... Some music, advice. Give me some tunes, man. Oh, okay. I didn't go as far as I thought I would. It's all about learning. This is basically just baby steps. And... Just gotta try. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Just gotta keep trying. Try different strategies. Oopsie. Not a problem. That one was totally my bad. I moved my mouse at the wrong spot. Oh, it's just giving me more chances to do it right. Thank you. And perfect. Yep. It's nice when you get a little momentum, as bouncy as that was. Okay. Oh, 
I said that was my last try. And one more time. I swear this is my last. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now let's see. Let's try something else. Can I? Just barely. If I can get up to that little corner. Should be able to. No. Oh, I'm a little bit closer. Ah, okay, that didn't work. That would be bad. Okay, seriously, this is the last time. Once I leave or go back. Okay, this looks like good. It's really got to be a better way to do this. Okay. Ah. I was repositioning my mouse and I missed my opportunity. And I keep saying that's my last time, but I really want to try again because I was close before. I almost got it. I'm gonna. Surprisingly, with these controls, I got surprisingly. Far relatively easily on my first turn, first try. Okay. Uh, ah. Excellent, I have another chance. That's. Oh. Alright. Away, Wall! Away! I do not want to see you! No. Anyway, that I said several times that was my last chance, last try, and gonna have to get going. I need to end the video here. So, and, well, it's really gone dark, and I'm sure it's. Uh, I'll I'll try to brighten it up in post. Hopefully, I can. Uh, if I can, I will for sure. And I'll try to get some kind of better lighting and better uh, area overall. I just wanted to, I said I was uh, learning how to get a uh, camera working and going and I just wanted to sorry I hit the mic again uh, and I just want to uh, uh, just put one out there to mess with the see what the reception is if at all and meanwhile acknowledge uh, Christmas Day despite uh, not being able to have uh, the right game that I wanted to play and, um, so yeah, I, I, I've wanted, ever since I saw this game first being played on, uh, from other YouTubers, I wanted to try it out for myself and really take in the message that, uh, Fadi, Fodi, that's, go ahead, so you said automatically save, so, let's make sure you get away, Bennett Fadi, I, Knew it was Bennett, but I had the wrong name. That was his first name. Oh, okay. I was wondering why he was saying that. Uh, so, getting over with Bennett Fadi, and it was on Steam. And I'm definitely. I'll probably put this out Christmas Eve, and then another one Christmas Day, maybe. Um, I, I'm kind of cutting it close already, so I don't know if I'll be able to get to it, but definitely another one before New Year's as a New Year's lesson uh, of how to approach the New Year and how to be better, do better, and whatever setbacks you have, you can get over it, you can do it. Uh, it takes a little bit of patience, it takes a little bit of crazy trying, uh, observing how others do it, and use your own methods to adjust and do better and just do what you can man it'll be okay you're not I was going to say something but it would not have been good and it would not have translated what I wanted to say but 
what I do want to say is you're not alone. There are other people playing this game, other people watching this, playing the game of life, like literally life right now, what you're in right now, in your flesh, uh, flesh bag. And it, it's hard, it can get really tough sometimes, it sucks. It's okay to say it sucks, because it does suck. But you can do better, you can make better, you can, you can go through it. You can just take a deep breath. Just give yourself some time, give your chest room to expand, open up your lungs, your airways. Breathe in the life, and then keep going forward. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. And thank you for being with me for this first video uh, game. And if, if this, I better, better, if this goes well, sorry, if uh, I can do this well and make it look good enough, I'll be having an introduction video talking about myself, most uh, particularly my voice, because I know it sounds strange or more odd or unique, whatever you want to say. And I'll just say right now that part of it is uh, my heritage, Austrian, and also I'm actually hard of hearing. Uh, in a, uh, I'll get more into it in the video, but I really appreciate uh, putting up with whatever difficulties I may have getting I'm trying to enunciate very well and I know I have problems with my um, oh, what are they call it basically not consonants but those two especially my S's I can really hear my S sounding off and it's weird when you're talking with headphones and you're not used to it um, but anyway once again, as of before, thank you for watching. I'm doing better. If you have any uh, comments, advice for how to uh, improve this, I'm. This is just a temporary thing. I wanted to. I've been wanting to do this for a while again, and I'll have something a, a much better setup. And I'll have the light in a much better uh, position. Uh, I just at the last minute, this is the best I can do, and I hope it's good. Um, anything else? No, that, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Whatever messages I have left, I will say in the next video. And I'll see you in that one. Take care of yourself. Now have a day. And have a day.